and um, I'm trying to practice what I preach. Because <laughs> I always uh, leave comments, and uh, I don't know if Russ has the time to see these comments. He probably has people that handle his channel, and he's had you know a lot of attacks. Like a lot of people get, it's not that everybody gets brought in front of a judge. It's like people get attacked at least uh, the reputation minimum. While Trump, look, they're trying to do more than that. And I'm not saying Trump. I'm not giving my opinion on anybody, and I hope the word Trump doesn't trigger another YouTube uh, algorithms or stuff like that to check. All I'm trying to say is I'm trying to stay positive because the other one I just put, if, even though it's very slow and unusually crazy slow, or sometimes it even gets blocked for a few minutes, they do everything. Like I said, why would my phone company cut my line? You see at what point the Montreal police is picking on me. Oh, that's not positive. But just reminding people, this video is positive, but my general life now, like I said, anything could happen to me. Because, because once you become a target now with the new world order, which is not a, a positive new world order, the new reality, the way they say on the news, it's, it's a sad reality. Tonight, I'm still, my dear fans, my dear uh, subscribers, hopefully there's going to be more. I'm going to try to say Edmonton. I'm a Canadian. I'm going to try to remember a little bit when I had the delusion that we were a free good-hearted, caring country. Uh, and Quebec, yes, I, 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 La Fête Nationale. And I was telling myself, man, why did it have to rail La Fête Nationale? And I'm talking about the, most of the time. It, it had sun for a little while, then it rained again. I go, just imagine, people go out this night, they think it's going to stop raining, and then it, it's going to rain down on them. And it's not because I'm negative. It's like when the Montreal Canadiens were like the Edmonton Oilers almost. Well, they didn't do that thing, come back from 3 nothing in the series final. But... They were more like, uh, but even then I wanted them to win, but it was the time that I was feeling so let down. A little bit like when I say that I don't want to repeat about the people that did weird things. I don't want to go there. I think you've seen my channel. But all I'm trying to say, I'm trying to stay positive in the song, and I'm trying to remember that even our alleged, alleged, meaning on 3D challenges or so-called enemies, deep, deep down inside, like I said in the other video, look way up. Way up, you know, the green giant, or the, not the jolly green giant from, from uh, what's that thing there, uh, kernels or whatever those, uh, uh, corn on the cob. Anyways, I think the brand was jolly green giant. But anyways, that giant on TV and channel six, if you were, lived in Montreal many years, me when I was young, very, very young. So let's go to this song. It's a beautiful song. I, I delayed uh, I'm prepping up. I want people to... To see my interesting life, and it is fun and interesting, despite the negative, painful, stressful part of 3D. Because this is, I, I, I didn't believe before, when some sp people, a spiritual people, I forgot this lady, she has like reddish hair, obviously, I don't think she's that, whatever, it's natural color, but there is a, a bit of a red color in some people's uh, com complexion of hair or whatever. I don't know too much about that, but I do know that she said... Well, for as much as there's an energy that influences people to evolve spiritually and understand the subtlety and the power of our... It's not only mind or thinking, it's the energy behind... Thought is one thing, but the whole uh, uh, torrid field, look it up, torrid, uh, Taurus field or something like that, uh, which is a toroidal field, that's how you pronounce it. And, and, and like I said, the CIA has... has made drawings on that, made studies on that for many, many years and did research on that. So you look it up, the, the gateway process. I keep promoting it because there's not much declassified uh, information that's valid. Just like uh, Stephen Greer, I keep promoting it because I don't know of other people that are that popular and that reliable. Reliable to what degree, but you figure it out. You do your own research and I don't, it's not about belief. It's about perceiving truth not about believing. There's a difference between perceiving something that could be true and having blind faith in things. That's stupidity. It's like religion. You're believing in whatever. You know, you can't. That it, A lot of people are like that. They believe uh, silly things that are religious and they become so extremist and they don't know they're becoming even like the people they say are doing wrong. Like, you're a demon. You're by the devil. And it's like they're becoming, it's that old, they're becoming triggered and aggressive and polarized more than the people they're accusing them of doing. Just a little bit like governments are doing. And 
people are just accusing other people of being bad when they're the ones doing the crime. And if you see my channel now, the, the comments of the videos I've seen, it's just amazing. The corruption is so deep. And I think that's why I think these things can go on because 20 years ago, 15 years ago, it wasn't that in, in it was there, but it was in the process of being, I think since the pandemic, it has gotten more like solid. That's why we see when we talk about certain things regarding that, you get your channel like me blog without and, and illegally, obviously, because I never got any warnings and I never even got, I think I got two strikes without even getting one warned or like, it, it's just silly. And I got the email late, but a lot of things are happening. Like, like I said, how many people right now get their phone line cut when they pay their bill? Obviously, there's a lot of people that have budget problems, but I mean, come on, it's almost impossible. Things that you rely on, basically, and that's what they say. A lot of things are going to come crashing down, electricity, phone, uh, money. You can't have money, so that means only when the government has some kind of electronic check on you. This is, I don't know if it's true, but there's some symbols or some hints at, you know, it's, it's really everything. Oh, you have to sign in online. Everything is online. No, I don't trust the online. I don't trust computers. I don't trust the government. And rightly so, because look at what we're seeing on TV. It's all, not all lies, but it's all twisted. The truth is twisted so much, or it's a total lie, or it's twisted truth to the point that it's not really the origins. If you see my testimonials when I say, oh my God, that's nothing that happened. That's not me. But they still write it. So that's, it's disgusting. And part of it, people don't see it, has been in the system. The, the Rothschilds, the Ritz, uh, Carlton, all these things. It's all about people, the few controlling the many. And do we want a world like that to keep going the way it is? We have to start trying to, not like demonstrations only, that if there's some need sometimes, but just trying to communicate with people like me, I try to plead with the police. What do you want me to apologize? Please don't do this crime because how can you sleep with yourself? You're still doing a crime. And like now see, just that it's, I'm so scarred and people say, well, yeah, it's like I was saying to the psychiatrist, yeah, I should see you for the trauma of having been unlucky enough to be the target of the new world order, which is totally corrupt. So this is what... You know, and I saw it in his face that he was like regretting, but nobody wants to lose their job, right? And uh, it's sad that people have to do their job in a criminal way because or else they lose their job. I saw that in the face of my social worker. Now that I go back, just like when I said in that other video that I hope is being uploaded as I'm making this one, at the Walmart, the staff, everybody was following me the other day purely to harass me, to make me do some some kind of aggressive gesture so I could be seen as an unstable person. People were in my face totally. It's like, next time, I, I don't know what I'm going to do you know, by, to film because people are going to say, oh, you're bothering people by filming. I don't know if you're even allowed filming and put it on the internet. But me, I just want to film the idea that the person, it's like I might film the feet just to show that people are in my face following me. And I'm 100% sure it's not all the time that people are walking near me uh, sent by police. I'm not paranoid, but it's happened so often. I remember clearly because me, when you're sensitive and have been meditating for many years, you see someone's face. And I could tell the, how uncomfortable and this. And, and now that I've been home only not even two days about without going out or without even opening my door because they stick something on it all the time to make me sick. And I know it seems crazy. Why, why would it be crazy if I'm telling you and there's marks on my body? Just like, why would it be crazy the police follows me when they're there? Statistically, you see my videos and I didn't even put half of them. This is sad. But let's get on the positive. And this video is about a song. Notice how slow. And sometimes like, blah, 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 blah. And people think it's my nerves are actually, no, if I talk fast, if I seem anxious, it's just my body fighting the stresses from the environment. And nowadays, Apopex and the police, meaning they're adding more like on purpose to say, hey, you're sick, you're not soft. Hey, but you pissed us off because of your freaking stupid health problem. So we're going to make it even more uncomfortable for you until you break down and then we have you in psychiatry. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. That would make them be in ecstasy. We want to be 
so happy by controlling and hurting the people that asked us for help. That's what they're doing in my case. I guarantee, I would swear on any not a Bible, any kind of truth, I would, I would pass any lie detector. And that's why it's sad, so sad. We can't talk it over because they are so corrupt, the people targeting me. So beautifully corrupt that they'll never get out of that. And they're going to die like that. And, and I don't know if the karma is going to bring it about more soon because who knows? I don't want to uh, wish that. I don't want to. But why keep on attacking an innocent person that says, please, what do you want me to do to take a compromise? I do any compromise now. It's like... It's like when you see uh, in a situation of war, you see the people there, they're at their... I'm like that physically. See, people think I'm pompous. Even the police themselves in Apopex think I'm doing these videos from a from a, an obnoxious, arrogant point of view. No, I would be stupid to see I'm losing all the time. Maybe there's some modicums of moral, spiritual wins that there's still a modicum of truth in law. A little, but it's... The idea that what I'm trying to say is that I'm hoping that that awakens even in the people themselves that have lost themselves to their obnoxious, de-evolutionary, material, but materialistic doesn't exist. It's the illusion of materialism because even the most pure atheist materialist, look at Stephen Greer. He said it. Look at Stephen Greer. He's the most, he believes in psychic powers. He believes in aliens. He started out as an atheist. Everybody could change. Everybody, it's not about change, it's about realizing who you truly are. What truly governments and elites are trying to do, even the elites that use psychic power to a certain level, they are themselves uh, ignorant to the fact that if you want more energy and comfort and pleasure, because a lot of people are trying to get the energy through manipulating others, and it's like people that think that sex and nationality matter how much you control and abuse because everybody whether it's an old person a rich person a poor person if somebody torments or someone wants to express any kind of intimacy or even because that's involved with control and abuse is not feeling well crime in and of itself i hate when they say oh there's a psychological reason for that person to having killed so many people that's because they want to let that person back out on the streets sooner or later if somebody hurts someone it's the same thing as crime because crime in and of itself maybe it was propulsed by an organized crime meaning is i want to have more money and i want to do whatever i can to get that money that's organized crime whether it's done by governments elites or gangs or other organizations that are organized to hurt but they're not organized to hurt as much as the government because a lot of them are just organized to make money and to feel powerful. But if you don't deal with them, if you ignore them, they don't want the attention because even those organizations or gangs on the street know there's an organized system that's a little just, a little now it's a little, but before it used to be like 75% there was laws that were fair or mostly applied, not even 75, but I want to give it a, let's say 65 to 70%. I'm going back and I was deluded that they were about 90% leaving our human rights and our basic needs. The world is corrupt, but beautifully from many thousands of years. But in the last hundred years, it has degraded. There's natural technology. That's why they're putting, they're, they're hiding all the, that they know. And there's only a few real events with aliens and that they want to give us always that illusion through movies that they are evil. If they'd be evil, we would not be here. That their technology to get here, and I don't know if it's true or not 100%, but I do perceive it could be true that there's aliens that visit us or even amongst us. I don't know. You look at the evidence. It's coming out on the 18th of October, but even now, look at the channel of Stephen Greer. There's a site and it has so much documentation. There is some movement, but people, like I said, him, he offers protection. He has a security protection. I think I said this in my other video. I am so vulnerable physically, and that's why police and Apopex, you know I'm intelligent enough not to put myself at risk for stupidities, just like when I had conflicts. I don't raise my fist, right? Just like at the P38 guy, I try to be, not only because I'm spiritual and peaceful, but because I know if I do one little fart wrong, I get so much more judgment and accusations than if other people would do it. I get invented. I get attacked for something that I never even thought of or even suggested. So this is where I say, why am I comfortable dealing with these people and people? It's everybody. It's government. Everybody around me. 
because that's I've I've noticed the law of karma works more for people that are spiritual or more often, more intensely, more quick. Those three, I'm sure, because we're connected. It's the, as above, so below. Is the same principle. You have money, my dears, please. You well, whatever, more than me at least. But you have connections. You have a, a certain uh, abilities of. of inflicting pain or controlling people or putting out law, dishing out fake warrants or even legal ones, both, both you could do. And that's what it's, it's sad that you have to use your morality more, but you're losing, using it less. So the governments are the big criminals here because they don't care what's right or wrong. And this is sad. And I wish I was wrong. I totally wish I was wrong people. And the way I'm telling you, you could tell there's no, absolutely no doubt. But even the positive stuff, there's absolutely no doubt. Like I said, as above, so below. I am connected. And as much as I'm not delusional because I say in the instant moment on 3D, I am still vulnerable to police. That's why they're enjoying almost every time I go out, they attack me. Or even if they can't, they, they torment me in some way. I hope they stop because, and I hope they don't stop because do you see something pretty scary happening to them? And not by me, because sometimes I put it in the comments and I, I go, they could twist all my words. But that's what I'm saying. Karma, look it up. That's all I'm saying. And I love and forgive. And I don't even love and forgive as much as I'd like to. Meaning my aim is to totally accept you because it's like saying right now, if your leg is starting to develop cancer, my dear police, what are you going to say? Hate your cancer cells? No, say, please work in harmony, spread, change your pattern to something not cancerous. And that's going to bring me to the grave. Because we all have that survival fight or flight. So that's what I'm saying. Don't hurt me so much because I don't want to give you my psychic juju that's negative. But because I'm attached to this body and I've decided, unlike what the hospitals say, that I'm depressed and suicidal, which they don't say it, but they say I deny it. But why are you accusing me of that? Who gives you the permission? Yourself. Me, myself, and I. Three people, I guess. In every... So the stupidity that people are allowed accusing people without any evidence that's physical is already a crime in and of itself. The, the, the crime that you have cameras in stores where you could be filmed, but only the police could see them. What, what kind of nonsense is that? Is that a weapon police that you could use like a gun? And even there, why can I not defend myself? It's a, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. There is no mystery. The idea that we have to be a slave mentality we have to be a controlled masses not free not free you are not free so let's stick on the, i don't feel it's almost like saying when i my human side or my physical resonance when i remind myself of this i started this video out of two minute introduction introduction and explaining the and it turned out into a 15 minute sort of reminder testimonial of the corruption of the world and now I have to be in the mood to see I see the love between them. but that it's the same thing like forgiving uh, the people that are hurting me the organizations the governments and I'm a puny sick old person I'm exaggerating well maybe not too much but, but what I'm saying is that and I get all these people against me the counterbalance is gonna be big I feel it and see it if you don't well Good luck to you. So let's go to the the song remains the same. No, that's I think that's the whole. Okay, so Howard Jones, no one is to blame. Lyrics, video, whatever. I, I didn't put the company because you. Keep, I guess it's it is what it is. Okay. Okay, I'll forget about the music. So you can look at the menu, but you just can't eat. You can feel the cushions. But you can't have a seat. You you can dip your foot in the pool, but you can't have a swim. You could feel the punishment, but you can't commit the sin. And you want her, and she wants you. We want and want everyone. Something like that. No, and then he goes, no one, no one, no one ever is to blame. Dun, dun. And then at the, sun, at the end, he says it more in a, in a different... But that's, that's the repeat thing. And you want her and she wants you. We want everyone. Okay. So then it repeats, you know, like a different... A little bit like the same sound. But you can build a mansion, but you just can't live in it. You're the fastest runner, 
but you're not allowed to win. <laughs> Some break the rules and let you cut the cost. Yeah, the insecurity is they is they that won't get lost. And you wander and you wander and it repeats and everybody wants everyone. No one, no one ever is to blame. Okay, then it continues. You can see the summit, but you can't reach it. It's the last piece of the puzzle, but you just can't make it fit. <laughs> Pretty bad. Uh, let's see the last part. Doctor says you're cured, but you still feel the pain. Aspirations in the cloud, but your hopes and hopes go down the drain. And you want her, and she wants you. We want and want, and you want her, and she wants you. Uh, we want everyone, and then it goes, no one ever, no, no one ever. And then, then it goes, is to blame, and it goes higher. So uh, then it goes, it's like a uh, low compassionate voice and it goes uh, something like, I don't know, it repeats something like that. And he said, he goes, no one ever is to blame. Like, it's so funny. He had such a cool voice, but this is, I don't know if it's 80s or 90s. Between the 80s and 90s, something 80s, something 90s, obviously the weird, when there's poetic and crazy good music, it's always... 60s to 90s after that it's all repeat pete repeat like i repeat myself i admit i'm boring myself and i should because uh, some people that are more organized and obviously it's not that they're more professional they have the ability to work on themselves to be more like uh, organized i was gonna say coerced oh my god uh, no a lot of the channels i follow like i said i don't want to re keep re-mentioning it if you see the videos i've shared and the people i mentioned in my videos it's not that they're better than others. It's the ones that I've got algorithms. Now I put so many subscriptions that I don't even know if they're made up subscriptions. Meaning, it's like I say, governments will do some good. They'll show you some evidence of a a aliens, but a tiny percentage that's real. And then the other things are all things to keep us. And like Stephen Greer says, the, the truth is more scary than the idea of aliens, the idea of psychic powers, the truth that why they kept us that from us. I always knew by intuition, even though I didn't even pay attention to a dream I had that was premonitory when I was young. I didn't have many. I could tell you some were like to give me hints of things that would happen or change, but not directly like the the dream. So I take those dreams to be more like uh, like when you get a gut feeling, you know, like, no, I'm saying I just I had to clear myself my conscience of saying hey, there's going to be consequences for it because i cannot be living like this in this much pain and not uh the resonance of my psychic pain meaning when my physical pains become psychic pain because police i spiritualize everything now so it has to bounce back more intensely in the karma i'm trying to explain it i'm trying to make people understand why i'm worried about them Especially the ones that are hurting me on purpose, with intent and with prejudice. And this is, there's no reason for that because I'm not doing that to you, police. I'm bitching, yes, but why am I bitching? Is it because I'm not quietly suffering your punishment? Does that make sense to you? If I grab an officer now and I start beating him or torturing him or putting insects in him or putting him in front of a judge or whatever and taking away his freedom, is that officer going to let it go? Just, uh, you're gonna, if I were in a position to do that and I wanted to, that's if, a lot of ifs. But if you can try to imagine yourself in my situation, police, and the, th and the roles were reversed, can you do that? Are you intelligent or mature or advanced enough to do that? I don't think so. And even if you do, you have no no care in the world about the crime you're doing. So good vibes to all. And I just hope you could sleep at night, all the people hurting me. And see, I, I thought I could just stay, do a video and not make it be about me or about my pain. Obviously, that's why everybody's fighting in the world because everybody feels neglected and rejected because the energy is intense. 
and everybody starts triggering other people. So it's a big trigger effect. And once it triggers a big nation with nuclear powers, it's going to escalate. And then other countries are going to fight back to whichever country got bombed. It doesn't matter which side, east, west, north, south. Please believe me, only love and peace and understanding can give you power, even in, directly on 3D in the moment, and also cause more harmony in the planet. And even if we have to create a dystopian world that we please these oligarchs, or because they call them oligarchs when it's Russia, but elites here, but they're both the same, one and the same. They might be polarized different, because some people think it's only one organization. No, there's quite a few, but there's not many as compared to people that want to live freely on the planet. I don't see any freedom. I don't even see a compromise possibility in my life happening. Maybe I want it. I still want to beg for it even. Well, I don't know about beg, but as close as possible to what seems like begging to people. Because me, obviously I'm human. I'm not lying. We're all human, but we, I'm more developed in my soul. But it doesn't mean I, I like suffering every day. No freedom. No peace of mind. I have to go out like an astronaut. Is that a life to all of you seeing my channel? That's not a life. But what I'm living inside is totally not what I'm living on the outside. That's why people saw it, that I was totally okay, even though the most I spent at the hospital, I think, was two weeks. It's not about having two weeks or two years or two uh, decades. When you're free in your soul, as long as your body torture has a limit, meaning you're not tortured every day to the extreme... You don't pay attention to who's around you, who cares about you, who doesn't, who pays attention to you, who says you're right or wrong. Like people say, oh, do you care so much? that? Uh, why are you fighting the thing that you have mental health? Like some people say, but because I don't have it. It's not that I'm fighting it. It's that it's total malarkey. And it's disgusting that you hurt someone and then you want to take away their credibility or say that they're imagining. That's like so much crime. Is happening now. I thought it was only me, but the general crime now about what's going on on TV or the news or governments is the fact that the crime is the bigger crime is the fact that they're hiding what they're doing or pretending or to the to, to the brainwashed people they're not seeing it. But people that are even slightly aware of what's happening, they're not stupid. They know government. So why keep on doing it? At least tell people, yeah, we're in control. Yeah, we want to control you. Yeah, we're assholes, <laughs> but you, we want to be. So as, if you do that, it's not saying it's better, but then you're going to be fighting Russia on their terms. Then you have more freedom to even apply these corrupt laws. Then I could say, okay, so I guess now I'm going to spend some time here and there and the tortured, psychiatry, because I'll know that people know that that's what I'm living because people totally, it's like I'm being punished by what you're doing, police, and then I'm being punished by people don't believe me what I'm going through. Or even if they do, they have to pretend that they don't because it's part of your dictatorship rules disgusting just and like i say i'm not that i'm meditating yes i hope you feel the pain that i'm feeling but if the shoe fits if it works for you if it gets you more motivated to be good whatever god decides i don't i just send it to god here i don't want punctious pilot i wash my hands i think punctious pilot did something like that. i leave it to other people i don't want to get involved with jesus if he is real the real messiah or not or if he's just the people that would and even in the past the story of jesus is the same like now like me exactly somebody that was routing up the uh, the crowds and going against the roman empire system now the american empire the R russian empire the other i don't know they say there's at least three big i don't care I see everybody equal. If someone has to control, hurt, and give disinformation, lie, torture, control, punish, those are four, no, no, don't do it. But I know it's going to go on. I know this video doesn't change anything. It is what it is. And it's the eternal battle of the physical world, I think. We, we made it this way. We were aware that part of us that's an oligarch or an elite or a devolutionary energy type pompous dictator in our, the, our midst that dictates to governments what to do. We put that in power. Yes, even me and you that are spiritual, if there's really a lot of people that are probably most of my 54 <laughs> fans are sort of a little bit like I don't, I don't know to what level this this makes sense, this kind of world that we have. I don't know. I just don't know anymore.
I don't know where to go, who to trust. That's the thing is, I don't know who to trust. Like I said, the Walmart, I don't trust it too much anymore because I see people from the Walmart following me to harass me. It's disgusting. How much did they get paid for that? Come on, Walmart. You, It's disgusting. I'm going to be filming. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that. But I don't think I'm even, I don't want to say whether I'm going to go or not because water is hard to buy at other stores. And every time I travel, I get attacked. So I either get attacked here, I get attacked during the trip. I have nowhere, to, I'm in a total war every day. People, do you know the pressure I'm at? The pressure you would be feeling in my place? Think about that. Do you want your children to go through that? I was telling that to the police. But this is disgusting. It's just, bleh! that's my feeling. It's monstrous. Anyways, good vibes. I, I, I don't know how to be not triggered or traumatized. This is, my life is total trauma. So enjoy it, because you're going to get it too. If you don't keep pressuring people to make my life, Warlock Superman's life better in Montreal, you don't do anything in your power, you're doing it to yourself. You're neglecting yourself or your future kids or descendants. Good vibes. Namaste.